hello everybody welcome to subcondition Monday today I'm going to be recapping on what subconditions are and why they're so important there are about 25 subcondition videos I've done here on Instagram and I want to go back and just talk about why subconditions are so important and what they actually are so you have your skin type your skin type is your oily, your oily combination, your combination dry and your dry skin. These two in the middle, the combination ones, are considered a normal skin, meaning that most people walking around out there are combination. They're either a little bit more oily combination or they're dry combination. That is considered a normal skin. Okay, so now what the subconditions are, are all the influences that happen as a result of the climate, if we are not using the right products, as a result of medications, and just if we're in an environment where we're not supporting our skin hydration-wise, or we're not protecting our skin from the sun. So what are some of the subconditions? Subconditions are things like large pores, because you don't have to have large pores. Pores are things that if you're keeping your skin really clean and you're cleaning your skin well using an exfoliant, you're gonna keep that bacteria, dead cell and sebum that makes up a blackhead, you're gonna keep that at the very little, you're gonna keep it very little. And if you're not cleaning your skin and you're not, not doing these things for your pores, then what's gonna happen is your pores are gonna get larger. So that's why cleaning, exfoliation, the more you clean and the cleaner it is and you have less of that bacteria, dead cells and see it's going to keep your pore size small so pores are one of the um, the subconditions another one is things like melasma that brown blotchiness that you can get either from pregnancy you can get it from going away to a fabulous vacation maybe to a sun that's a little bit different than what you're used to maybe you've gone to the Bahamas or Mexico and you haven't been as diligent as you needed to be with your sunblock and now you've got blotchiness so that is a sub condition uh, also any any forms of blotchiness it could be from scarring maybe you've had a pimple and your skin wasn't being nurtured and fed the nutrients to help it to heal quickly but now you're left with a mark from that pimple that you had and they can marks can last up to months you know they can stay a really long time if you're not using the right products to support and feed your skin so that is another subcondition another subcondition is just surface dryness and it's the biggest one of the biggest subconditions that I work with because a lot of people when they first come to me with acne they have the oily skin but then on top they're really surface dry because they're not using treatments serums and things designed for that oily skin to keep the skin soft and supple on the outside so those are just to name a few rosacea dermatitis eczema uh, these are all subconditions that can come and go in your life so you want to make sure that you're aware of subconditions you want to know how to treat them this is very important to, to number one be able to recognize the subcondition it's different from a skin type a skin type you are born with it will not really change as you age if you're an oily skin it'll get a little bit drier as you get older but basically it's not going to change in abundance your subconditions you can change drastically so just to understand what a skin type is to understand the different subconditions and how to treat subconditions is everything because if you are an oily skin for instance and you come to see me for a facial and your skin is really surface dry I can't even extract your skin to get the blackheads out of your skin or the congestion that you might have while your surface dry so I have to treat the surface dryness first so sub conditions often this is the case you've got to make sure that you're keeping skin soft and supple you've got to make sure that you're treating your sub conditions you know along with everything else that you're seeing with the skin and that's why sometimes it takes a couple of facials it might take two to four usually I always tell someone give me three facials with you and I'm going to change your skin so sub conditions are everything you need to know what they are you need to be able to recognize them and you need to know what your skin types are there is a difference so this is very important and that's why understanding skin to me is everything because once you understand what you're doing 
magic happens and you can really change somebody's skin. So this was today's subcondition. It was an overview to remind you of the importance of understanding what subconditions are to be better at what you do. And for the non estes out there, just to understand that these things make a huge difference in your skincare regimen. And if you're somebody that's using an expensive product and you've got a ton of products, or not even expensive product, but you've just got a ton of products on your counter, but you're not getting results, it's because you're not aware of your subconditions. You need to understand what's going on with your skin. Have a great rest of your Monday and I will be back to see you all again next Monday. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.